hi everyone it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft and I'm back with another video now I was just kind of messing around with some like inks and some masking tape and stuff and I wanted to share with you what I did and how it turned out and actually how easy it is but they do look so nice so the first one it was just I masked off all around and then I just put three ink colours down sort of blended them together and then just die cut on the top and I think that's really nice this one is another pretty one and I don't know if you can see but I kind of put like white faux stitching around with a gel pen but I made this background just with putting masking tape in different directions and I thought that turned out gorgeous and then this one is dead easy all I did was I just taped across and down and it sort of created like a sort of I suppose a window effect and then I just stuck a die cut on the top and that's so nice and elegant looking and these two um, I put way too much paint on the paint was too thick so I was I was waiting to see how they dry but again I just put different widths of masking tape on just inked some of it and then just stamped it and the same with this one the paint was way too thick but I just sectioned it off and then I just stamped like silhouette stamped into the little panels so I thought we could do something like this so we're gonna do a five by seven no we're not I'm gonna do a six by six first so a six by six card and obviously I've cut the front of it smaller sorry this phone is dropping again cut it smaller so what I did was I bought this these tapes from Amazon they're like masking tape and you get you get loads in a pack actually in different thicknesses and it's okay but you do have to remove the sticky first on your clothes or something otherwise it just tears the card so I mean if you want to measure it you can I'm not gonna just sort of straight well straight down the middle But yes, you've got to remove the sticky. And then just across like that. That'll do. I'm just going to get some scrap paper. There's a few little cat hairs on there as well, but if you've got pets, you know what it's like. They get everywhere, especially when they're up on your desk all the time. So, colours. Mm. This time, I'm going to go for this Victorian velvet, which I never really use. So I hope it's... I mean, I have used it, but I don't know what it's like. So really, you just want to sort of aim to go around in a circle. So just round in a circle. Yeah, and I'll straight away I think this is way too dark. Yeah, that is way too dark for what I wanted. So never mind we will take this off yeah too dark and we'll turn it over and use the other side I'm 
and something like that does it doesn't have to be perfect and then we will peel this off as you can see it gives you this sort of lovely sort of window effect nothing hard about it really So I'm just going to pop this on to my card dead easy to do and then I have got the same little die that I'm just going to put there No, I'm not because I forgot to put my little splatters on. Ugh, useless. So I've got, I'll just use some of this Sizzix paint, but any black paint you've got would do, or whatever colour you want to have on. Just put a bit, a tiny bit in there. A bit of water. I'll do and it won't take long to dry because they're quite uh, you know thin splatters. And I have just realised as well I forgot to stamp a sentiment but I can I can still do that. So I'm gonna put that there. so simple but so nice and then I'm just trying to find these sentiments I used in the beginning which was from this stamp set and die that I've got, I've got here um, so I might just put with love First one done, dead easy. So I'm going to do another one. Right, so this one is going to be a five by seven. So, oh, Kitty, can I have my paper back? <laughs> she's sitting on a look now, she's got her cat hairs everywhere. So, I've got that tape again in two different widths course remember you have to remove the sticky from this if you have you know like a masking tape but you could use washi tape even but as I said remove the stickiness <clears throat> and then all I did was just kind of just put these around and just random ways really there's nothing hard about it just wherever you want it to go think like that 
This time I'm going to use speckled egg. It's a nice light blue. And all you're going to do is just start inking over them. I think that'll do. Hopefully it's worked and it doesn't rip the card. It's okay. Oh, this one's going to tear. You never know, it might be okay. Pull the top bit, but we might be able to get away with that. And then I'm going to take the same white gel pen. So I'm going to pop this onto another piece of Miri card. So there it is. I couldn't find it because I'd scrumpled it up in my rag ready to go in the bin. Beautiful for just a bit of mask and tape and stuff. Um, I've got a thinking of you. I'm going to need some more glue on there though. There we go, just a bit of masking tape and a gel pen and there's the little tab, never mind, it's okay. So, the two we've just done and so see this was the pink one of that and they'll always probably be slightly different wherever you put the masking tape. Um, and that was the yellow one of that. This was just the two different colours. And this was just masking it in just different lengths along this way. And then just putting a little stamped image or whatever on you want. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed them. I hope it's given you a bit of inspiration. You know, to get your inks out and just have a play around. 
but yeah it'll be all on my blog i'll put the link for the website um i can ship to the republic of ireland again and i have reduced the shipping costs um to like australia well you know international shipping i have getting it reduced a bit um yeah so thanks for watching take care and bye for now